doesn't look. Oh, okay. Ain't that bad. Although, do have to be careful because otherwise that's going to slide right off. But, oh, I'll get the intro too soon. I'll get the intro out there, then. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to me yapping in my car. And if you haven't watched the other videos, I recommend you do so. So you get a feel of who I am before you just my most recent upload. Yeah. Okay. I heard something funny today at the gym and it involved So there's these two like pretty sizable strong people. And they're, I think they're like training for the military or something before I can pick up. So I'm doing like, I don't even know. I think I was doing, I was doing some curls, right? Just barbell curls wasn't nothing much. And I'm overhearing their conversation because they're not too far away from me, right? And I'm like, oh, this is what, the, this is interesting because they're talking about short people. This one guy goes, God, I hate, God, I envy short people. And I'm, th I'm thinking in my head, okay, what's he about to say next? He said probably one of the most diabolical one-liners I've ever heard about short people in the gym ever. Keep in mind, I'm very short myself. And so he goes on and says that... All short people have to do is breathe the air in the gym and they get jacked. And... I, I quite honestly, I had to go to the bathroom because I was almost going to die laughing just from hearing the fact that this guy just said this probably not even 20 feet away from a dude who's 5'4". And keep in mind, they're like 6 foot and they're actually like strong. I'm just like a dude that, yeah, I'm just like, I'm small, but I kind of look okay in size. I don't have much for strength, but so I'm just sitting there fucking just dying and I'm... <laughs> I honestly didn't know what to say. So I'm just like sitting there just trying to get my workout done as soon as I can so I can just get out of there. <laughs> I'm having to get done now and now I'm telling you guys the story. Which, that was a very uh, fun experience of mine today. Uh, let's see, what else? Well, uh, today's cloudy for and no one's really care, but this is for me in the future. Today's cloudy, a little bit of rain. I got a Toyota Camry in front of me. I got a Ford behind me. And I'm currently in a, my mom's car. That's what this is. And I'm going to get some gas. And no, not the hood kind. Uh, Alright, anyways. Uh, I don't know what to say, huh? I wonder if anyone else struggles from this. Does anyone else struggle from like not being able to just like have thoughts in their brain like all the time? Like there's a lot of times where I'm literally just like sitting there and I'm thinking of nothing. So I'm like there's nothing to say, nothing to do. And I wonder if anyone else out there has that same problem. So if you do, put it down in the comments below. Uh, and I'm saying that not only so I know, but also other people too. It can be a uniting thing of something. I don't know. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm just, I'm just trying my best out here, okay? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't the best uh, YouTube recorder yet, but hopefully in the future I'll be able to, you know, produce something that is meaningful, you know, to more than just like three people. But, um, see here. I know, uh, when, I'm going to tell a story of one of my friends here. He, he goes up to a college up north in the United States, I won't say where, but he was talking to me about his experiences, right? And first thing he noted is that everybody up there has like an average bench of like 275, right? So, I mean, these people are just straight monsters. And he also noted that his professors for college 
half of them aren't even from this country and half of them sometimes don't speak English, right? Keep in mind, he's going for engineering. So, in case might be out there thinking he was like trying to be linguistic or something. So, he tells me of this story of his roommate basically going to a frat party, coming back home, it's like probably 10 or 11 at night. He walked back into the dorm room he was like apparently like completely drunk right and my my friends were sitting there chilling and then he walks over to this like it's just like he showed me a picture of this like room that he, his dorm room that he's in it has like a mini fridge and a uh, bed and then there's like a little gap of space in between on like the guy's half and he proceeded to vomit only in that square because of how drunk he was right and you know, my t my roommate or my, my friend naturally got pissed, and so he was trying to you know tell him like, hey man, what are you doing? Just go to the bathroom or something. And apparently, since there were so many people that night, the bathrooms were all locked within like half of campus because it was like a giant frat party, and none of them could get into the bathroom, so they all had to fucking go back to their dorm rooms and like try to. Ugh. But so yeah, he really wants to. My friend's not exactly a fan of the college that he's at because of that. So that's a fun story to tell you guys. Also, hold on. God, what's going on here? Okay. Yeah. I should add to this is that the guy's roommate like my friend's roommate he had a sign up in his in their like dorm and it said stop thinking start drinking so if that it was like an it's like an led light it's got like blue and orange so if that gives you an idea of the type of person his roommate is then yeah that's the one thing i don't really like get about college is like how some places like you just kind of have to get teamed up with like a random roommate because like if you get somebody with a clashing personality it's just going to ruin your entire experience thankfully for me i don't have to deal with that because of the fact that my college is close to my home but the idea of having to deal with that for me oh shit is really bad sorry for the camera but i gotta lock in here since Bunch of weird road people doing road things. Why is this about like 25? Yeah. Now I can just park and come back. <laughs> but. Damn! Good thing I beat him. Shit. No wonder why. There's a track trailer behind me carrying like two different uh, things. Um, yeah, that, that really helps the audience. Okay, I mean, <laughs> it was a four. It was like a uh, like a what the fuck are they called? The things that like dig into the ground. They're like they're often of a cat. It's like one of those construction machines, and then there's like a roller one. But he had both of them on the back of an 18 wheeler. So, yep. And I just see him going up the street just now. Yeah, that's that's crazy. They repaid that whole thing. Damn, that was so expensive. But uh, yeah, I honestly think this is where I'm going to end the video because, well, I'm basically at my house. So, another day of me yapping at a camera. Don't really know if it's going to leave me anywhere. But, oh wait, I forgot, I gotta go. I just gotta go get gas. <laughs> but uh, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, hey man, I'll see you guys later. Peace.